Hello guys, in this video we'll build a CRUD app using Rust. We'll be using all the concepts that we have learned in Rust programming language series on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked out, I will highly recommend first check out that playlist. It should be blinking somewhere on the top right. We'll be using PostgreSQL as our database and Docker and Kubernetes for our deployment. So let's get started. First of all, if you have been following my series, you already are aware about all of these dependencies. But again, you have to add Tokyo for async programming, Axiom for our web server and Certi JSON for our JSON parsing. So make sure to add all of these, build your project and now let's add our model. So we will first add a new Rust module model and here we'll say pubstruct user. So we'll be dealing around a user table in a DB and we'll create CRUD endpoints for this user model and we'll use uh, attribute drive serialize deserialize and now let's add few uh, properties so we'll add user id name and occupation email phone now I'll just stick to these details but if you want to add more properties you can now let's create our controller so we'll add a controller module and we'll create our handlers so first one is list users and we'll return status code and a JSON of value so it's get users then we have pub async fn get user by ID so we'll get a ID from our path URL parameters and and here we'll return a status code And a JSON as well sorry with user info and then we have create user this just accepts a JSON user model and we'll name the property JSON of user from the body and here we just return a status code if success or failure creating user and fn here we will add update user again path i'll just copy from here path and the json and we will return a status code telling if update was successful or a failure and finally we have our pub async fn delete user which will just accept a url parameter with id and then we'll return the status code stating if delete was successful or failure this is update so these are all the handlers of our uh, crud endpoints now let's create our code for web server so we'll get to our main method here we'll add a router first and add all the routes so first route is slash users here we will have a get method and we'll list user then the second one is slash user by id and then get user by id and then we have slash user slash user this is a post request where we create a user and then we have slash user id which is a patch and here we will update user or let's use put because of its update and then we have route 
which is user id and we'll delete our delete user so this is our route ready with all the endpoints and the handlers are from our controller that we just created so now let's go ahead and add our listener so we'll say let listener and tokyo net tcp listener bend so we have to provide a route uh, sorry address so we listen to port 3000 dot await and now we will add axiom serve here we will pass our listener app and we will await unwrap so this is our listener mm, wait also unwrap here so this is our uh, web server router we have and we have controller so that's it for this video guys in the next video we'll write the business logic where we'll add the service layer for all of our handlers and connect to the db so i'll catch you guys in the next video